go again. <laughs> Another update. <laughs> All right. Explanation. I'm Daryl. I'm Kim. We're some days here where we stop the madness. And start the adventure. Sooner or later. <laughs> At some point. We last time we had talked, we were getting ready to pull out of uh, around the uh, Hammond, Louisiana area. Uh, we've been uh, working there for the last year, saving up some money to uh, start to head west again, go on season number seven, I believe it is. Uh, some of you don't know uh, us or are just new subscribers. And if you're just watching this for the first time, please make sure you subscribe below and hit the notification bell. Uh, YouTube's playing the game again where for some reason you're not getting notified when we put videos out or, or we watch a lot of people with videos and we're not getting notified so make sure you hit that bell so when we get a video out you'll be able to know it's out there but anyway we promised we were going to take off and we have left uh, the Hammond area and started to head west unfortunately we started to head west right when the shutdown happened yeah so we started watching the videos in the west uh, as far as RTR, we were going to head to RTR. Yeah, that was our main. We were ready to go, but then we wanted to get out there. We didn't want to have any problems parking and getting into any of the camp uh, sites um, for the BLM and uh, national parks along the way and stuff like that. So yeah. we just didn't want to sit in the desert and just sit around a campfire. So we thought, well, let's just stay here. It's winter. We can sit out in the desert or we can sit over here. Mardi Gras season's fixing to start here. So why don't we stay around here around Crawfish the... Crawfish uh, season. That's right. <laughs> West side of uh, Louisiana give you a little bit different perspective of living full time in an RV. And that's what we're going to do today. Believe it or not, we've had this rig. That's a 2011 Landmark a San Antonio version by Heartland. We've had this rig for three years. And this is the first time very first we have ever sat at this table so Kim had an idea uh, again we're getting we live in this RV full-time we like to make it as comfortable as we can what'd you come up with Kim we ordered us a rec pro reclining couch with the center console right that should be in Monday I'm so excited Kim was watching another video of course a lot of you probably if you watch RV videos you know Ray with love your RV it wasn't him it was um, Tito oh <laughs> sorry but if you watch Ray he's probably seen he's a good one too but <laughs> that's right so it was who Tito oh that's Brian. right yeah Brian on the uh, um, RV and with Tito I believe is his channel yeah but they decided to put one in theirs uh, and we we take a lot of RVers recommendations to heart because yeah. it's tried and true we know it works a lot of you look into some of the stuff that we've done over the years and we know what works and we we'll know what doesn't work so anyway what we're going to do is we're going to take out this table that we never use never have and never will use it some type of a storage and we're going to put in this uh, double recliner with a center console and what we want to do today is show you we're going to take this out and get rid of this, get rid of the chairs, donate it to somebody uh, in the RV park if they need it or somebody that we may know that could use a table and chairs. So we're just not going to throw it away. We're going to try to recycle it. But anyway, I'm not going to go into extensive details with you. Uh, we'll figure out how how to remove this from the slide I'm assuming there's bolts underneath and I'll show you that but I'm not going to bore you with a long drawn out deal of us watching us take the chairs out <laughs> and also I want to show you something else too so just hang on right now this is the setup that we have here my little recliner that came with the couch it was more like pleather uh, it started to come apart the chairs held up but all the the material it's not leather it sticks to you started flaking <laughs> off so Kim bought this nice cover which is a very nice cover so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the double recliner over here then Kim's gonna work on something over here shoe storage down here and take all the stuff off and yeah give us a little room in and out of the door maybe coats or whatever Open she's got going on so that's what we're gonna do also what we're gonna do is fluid form sent us the eagle 4k you've probably seen in our previous video we are actually going to use this camera as part of this demonstration we have the hero 4 
we have a Hero 3 Plus that you're looking at right now. This is a white version. But we're going to use all three of these cameras. And it's going to be kind of like a test to see who can tell which camera was actually doing the filming. Just to see the quality of the Eagle 4K and do a little review on that. And then, of course, our GoPro Floor Black, what most of the videos you've seen us doing is with that. And the 3 Plus that you're currently seeing now, uh, GoPro. So what we're going to do is we're going to include that all in this video. So hang on. Here we go. Kim and I are ready to get after this. You ready to do it, babe? Ready to get, get out of here. Get this thing where you want it. Make it feel good. Using three cameras, one, two, and three. We got a Ford Black uh, GoPro. We got a three plus white GoPro. And then we've got the Eagle 4K. Okay. So uh, we'll see if anybody can figure out any difference between any of them. So we'll just get three different shots here and see what happens. So, first of all, looks like I gotta need a drill motor. Or we got some assorted bits here we may need. I don't know what's underneath there. We looked underneath the RV. There's nothing under the slide that's gonna screw into it. So, let's get rid of the plant. And we'll get the chairs out of here. You can bring me the chairs, babe. I'll take them outside. Oh, by the way, I want to show you something on these chairs that some of you may not know. If you look, these flip open. So I don't know if some of you even know that, that your chairs will do that, and your chairs may not. Oh, okay. This model did. Okay. <laughs> oh, by the way, I want to show you something on these chairs that some of you may not know. If you look, these flip open. So I don't know if some of you even know that, that your chairs will do that, and your chairs may not. Oh, okay. This model did. Okay. Oh, by the way, I want to show you something on these chairs that some of you may not know. If you look, these flip open. So I don't know if some of you even know that, that your chairs will do that, and your chairs may not. Oh, okay. This model did. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we'll start here. So we'll start at the bottom. There's four screws at the base here. One, two, three, and four. So we'll take those out. Hang on to it, baby. always have to be one screw that gives somebody a bad time. Oh! So that one must have been stripped out at the factory or something. So, how? <coughs> Just a little bully here, huh? Alright, so that was really fairly easy. Just some long two inch screws that screwed right down into the plywood. This table here would separate and has another leaf in it underneath here that it can expand. That was easier than I thought. Let's see if we can get it out the door. Well, watch out so you don't mess up my... Yeah. You get out first. Get all the way down first. So don't Be so nice. I'm gonna get this up. Help. All right, so that's phase one. Yep. I'm sure this is be back in now. Yeah, that'll all come up. Golly, right here is that a little bad to have that. So Kim doesn't know. What she's going to do in here, she's going to figure it out. Once we get the recliners in over there, she'll have X amount of space. 
She may take this off. She may change it. I'm she, thinking about keeping it and putting just hats on there, like princesses' little things, just stuff. Maybe backpacks and stuff like that for when we go hiking and everything. So I'm just thinking it would be that we use utilize this, and I don't want to have the the wall to have the holes in it from where we put this in. So just, I'm thinking that that would be the way to go. Just a lot more room. So I mean, we don't use we use a table to put stuff on. That's about That's it. That's it. We don't sit there. So Very we're trying to make spare closet. We're trying to make more <laughs> functionality of it. We've been wanting to do it for a long time. That's so right. Before we get going on the road, let's yeah. let's take the time and get all the repairs done. Right. So I'm thinking that this will look really good if you just we just do that. All right. Well, this is step one. And we'll come back to you and let you know how it's going and what we're going to be so doing. And coming up on our next videos, we'll let you show how we set the recliner in here, how all that worked, how it shipped in, how we got it in the door. Yeah. One we'll person job. On it. So stay tuned. A lot more to come. We're getting back on the road. If you haven't seen all our old videos, we have a lot of videos that you can go back and watch. So, yep. Subscribe. We're going to take some different places going up this year. Yep. We, we're taking a different route, hopefully, this year. Of course, we don't know. We say one thing and then things happen. So, we got a couple more months here in Louisiana. We're going to go through Mardi Gras. We're going yep. to experience everything here and then we're going to head west and then northwest. So, It'll be fun. Yep, maybe we may bring y'all to a parade or something. That's right. So uh, comment, subscribe, make sure you like. It helps us out a lot. Uh, we, you know, we love doing this, and now we're going to have more time that we can get back into this and do some filming for you. But uh, comment down below if you have any idea in the sections that I cut this in and edited in of which camera. I'm going to do one camera one time, another shot the next time, maybe a third shot the next time. So. See if you can figure out what camera's what. Because if you're thinking about getting into YouTube yeah. or vlogging, you don't have to go spend a whole bunch of money on right. an action cam. Uh, you know, you can find yeah, something. Yeah, everything that comes with that one. I mean, that's really, yeah. I mean, if, if it works good, then I mean, that's a, a good starting point. Well, see, there you go. And, you know, you, you can buy right. them from 30 bucks all the way up to however much you want to spend. So. But then again, it may be better than the GoPro. That's right. But we're fixing to find out. That's so right. anyway, thanks for stopping by and watching. Again, I'm Daryl. And I'm Kim. And we're some days here. So stop the madness. Start the adventure. Next time.